Hi guys, welcome back to Operator.tv. How are you doing? Laura Onoche, of course I, I know you know who this woman is. She is working with the president and here she writes, passion, good governance, bringing corruption to a manageable level in Nigeria, committed to Project One Nigeria, aid to Muhammadu Buhari on social media matters. Now, this is the same woman, Loretta Onoche, that tweeted that former presidential aspirant Atiku Abubakar and also a former vice president of Nigeria under the flagship of PDP is a terrorist that has affiliation with some other countries and she, in fact she claimed that Atiku has been blacklisted as a terrorist in the United Arab Emirates this is the job of this woman now these people sometimes it's just that politicians are fake they are evil they are not truthful she might decide to decamp when the other side is rosy or she might decide to be the same person that fights on twitter whenever they are party or they have not been given any ministerial position they begin to tweet just like this woman that went to south africa i, get, I brought you that story yesterday she went to South Africa, Ezekwesili. She visited South Africa, claiming that she's going there to talk about some stories of people being killed, Nigerians being killed, Africans being killed in South Africa. And she's attending World Economic Summit, World Economic Summit in South of Africa. Why? I think she would have sent a better message by not attending rather than going down there, stepping on the soil where people have been killed. People claim she loves money, that is why, and she loves the camera. Anyway, here, Loretta Onoche writes, No Nigerian life has been lost in South Africa in the last few days. The videos being paraded on the social media are old videos that are unrelated to Nigerians in South Africa. Nigeria External Affairs Minister. Now, we know that this woman is full of shit. Is it until people die before they know what to do? What does she mean? How have they been able, people that do not even know the amount of people living in Nigeria, they don't even know if Aousa Fulanese are from Niger, from Chad and all of those places. What are we talking about? And she has the boldness, the infantry to come online and type this. No Nigerian life has been lost in South Africa in the last few days. The videos being paraded on the social media are old videos that are all related to Nigerians in South Africa. Nigeria External Affairs Minister. How? were they able to get these figures most of these people you know africa i i don't know what's really happening in nigeria this will open their mouth they say nonsense things that they cannot say outside there all right let's quickly read what people are saying here someone right guys i'm re i'm resident in south africa and what loresta is saying is the truth i don't agree with her but on this one she's saying the absolute truth no nigerian was killed the only person killed was a taxi driver that was that was what sparked the attacks now question is the taxi driver in nigeria he said no he was south african the taxi driver alleged allegedly saw a drug deal go down and reacted and got shot it's unclear if the cops or tanzanian if it's the cops or a tanzanian but he was shot with the gun of a cop south africans in their usual way blamed it on nigerians and started disrupting and looting now this is what rascals is saying and this is what resulted into this conflict, this carnage, this blood sucking events that we are seeing. Yeah, another person writes South Africans, in their usual way, blamed it on Nigerians and started looting. That seems to be the reason for all of these false allegations. And he replied, Exactly. Well, that means nothing actually happened. Not like this, not like there was peace or something. So, what do you guys see? What do you guys think about all of this is happening? Say the videos that are out there are old videos that have been pushed out there to create a form of you know panic another person writes according to reliable sources there were four casualties from police trade billets that left one dead all nigerian all, all nigerian yesterday at west street Kempton's park between 12 noon and 1 pm and all right not through okay now let's let's go further let's go further Let's see what people are saying. Another one right. Apology. Kill you there. Another person. The Minister of Foreign Affairs wishes to inform the general public that following the recent xenophobic attacks on Nigerians in South Africa, the 
proprietor of Airpiece Airlines has volunteered to send an aircraft from Friday 6 September 2019 to return Nigerians home free of charge. Now we heard about this. Anyway, the truth is the Nigerians in South Africa don't want to go back home. Here, somewhere right, it's a blunt and lie. So are you in South Africa? Are you on ground? Let us meet at the comment section. Tell us the truth. Did you see any Nigerian being killed or even Africans being killed? Do you, do you see any of of course people have family members over there so if something has happened they should come out now they should come out now let's leave sentiment alone come out now show pictures and let us see what is really happening over there if you're domiciled in south africa or you have family members in south africa another one writes honey those were mob justice videos that were caught long ago yeah i realize can they ask themselves why nigerians living in south africa are making as much noise as them about those killings it's only ones living outside south africa so when you're right this no life has been lost narrative is just stupid nigerians were attacked and you are saying nobody died now the point is this most people die what about people that got hurt what if they die later if whatever what about if their injuries become complex complicated and they die later is it until someone died that's the question there should be outrage you don't wait till people die this is nonsense that nobody lost their lives um the videos that have been pushed around are fake videos there are videos of past events most people die before you take actions that's what we are talking about no nigeria in nigeria or abroad should face any form of physical abuse from anybody yes yeah, someone writes there is a nigerian guy called calling for the whole african continent to stand up against south africans in their countries because too many nigerians live lives have been lost he is president of an organization called united people of nigeria initiative even if lives were lost in this year's attack too many lives have been lost in previous attack so he is still kind of correct if he says so now that's what we are talking about people have died are you saying now people have not died so uh, those people that died are useless we are talking about people that the government is actually um making use as aids to them on social media how can this woman be um, special aid to the presidency on on, on social media issues this woman is lost this woman is lost she doesn't know her job she tweets talks and acts like someone that is not correct in uh, upstairs there a lot of them are there and we are talking about giving women power opportunities to be in politics i have not seen the difference between a man and a woman in nigeria being in politics the same woman that was given opportunities stole millions of dollars ran down to uk claimed that she has cancer so we we know what these things are so we need to do a whole lot of re-evaluation that is what i think now someone here writes people experiencing xenophobia are true people, people um, nigerians being killed you're gonna need to back that up with facts and not only that you have to systematically put them in appropriate context when did they die was it not due to other factors e.g crime so that's what this person here is writing ah uh, now let's see so here another person posted a link it says hello sir five killed from al jazeera enjoy i still have more reports so is al jazeera actually not um probably they didn't do their homework before they posted this is this an old video say five people were killed in xenophobic attacks in south africa police said as president cyril Ram ramaphosa vowed to clamp down on what he described as act of terrorism or evil whatever it is south africans we've been saying but why all didn't want to listen so the video of a guy on fire i read that story in the newspaper a couple of years back it was mob justice for armed robbery i think but no people wanted to believe it related to xenophobia who are we to tell them otherwise so that's what it is so a lot of videos of course will pop out there even in nigeria videos of uh, mtn mass that was that was that i think um by itself i think due to some electrical issues caught fire some people are posting these videos and they claim that yes people are acting and actually trying to retaliate yes someone am right if they are old videos of same occurrences what separates the action of the old from the current situation of your citizens scampering for safety if not your inability to be responsive and proactive now guys what do you think about all of this whether nigerians or not still xenophobia that is it nigeria should be able to stand up as a giant as they claim they are not only when um, they want to fly private jets and when they want to loot stand up for other african countries stand up for nigerians 
that is my message so guys what you think about this let us know in the comment section and if you have not tapped on that subscription button kindly do tap on that subscription button so that you will be notified whenever new videos are uploaded thanks again for stopping by